This video was inspired by my conservatory at my place where I usually record all videos. Why is that? I'll explain it in a second. If you have a look, that's my usual recording spot. And what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to move it this bit to another side of this room. And why is that? First of all, I really hate, you know, that, that window here, which usually causes lots of struggle if I make some tutorials about like Premiere. So I'm just trying to get some nice wall, which could be lit with some pocket lights. Another thing is, this conservatory is a proper audio recording nightmare. You've got wooden floor, glass windows instead of normal walls, bare walls, another window, plastic roof. I tell you what, it's really hard to record a thing in this place. So what I'm gonna do in this video, I will show you my six epic ways to improve your audio by recording at home, especially when you've got hardcore environment like this one so stick to this episode let's roll the intro Daytime recording is really bad because you got all those sounds outside. Anyways, apologize for this long introduction intro, but I was just trying to show you what's going on and sometimes it's really bad, you know, when you record something for YouTube. Anyways, let's jump to my first tip, which is to find the right room. What I mean by that is to be aware of acoustic of, of the place where you're recording. You have to minimize the echo, what is really difficult in a room with hard floors and bare walls. Obviously, it's great to professionally soundproof your room, but not everyone can afford that. So remember, the room where you are recording should not be too empty with bare walls and loads of windows, which is my case. You have to get rid of those unpleasant echoey sounds, which is so, so bad here. Still need to move a few things around. I think this episode will be probably the worst one in terms of audio. <laughs> and what's so funny, I'm actually talking about improving audio. Gosh, sorry for that. <laughs> Another tip will be to locate unpleasant sound sources that you don't want to record. This could be humming from your from machines like I don't know, your fridge buzzing from lights or even jigging calls by your pet's collar. I usually record at night so there's not much noise around from outside, like let's say seagulls because I live by the sea or some dodgy stuff in my conservatory. Also make sure your phone is in airplane mode. It's quite obvious to switch off your tones, but when your mobile is on, it still search a signal. So this can ruin your best video take. In addition to that, you should block any wind source Sources going to your mic, such that sound is really unpleasant to your ear. This relates to some way of soundproofing when, let's say, you say letters like P or B towards uh, the microphone. Therefore, use some screen or dead card for your microphone. Anyway, hold on a sec. This one is pretty cool, looks fluffy and dodgy, but it does the box. Ah, ready. I hate recording daytime in this next place. It's so hot here. <clears throat> okay, so my next tip is to focus on vocal projection. People speak different ways. Some people avoid the microphone so you can't really hear them. And other people almost scream to the microphone because they're, they're so excited when they say something. I'm not an expert, but basically you have to speak deeply from your chest level. All of those tips for singers or drama actors that you can find on YouTube are really useful. Uh, so just check them out. Practice, practice, and your microphone would sound perfect because of your proper technique of vocal projection. La 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 la. The worst episode ever. Need to open that. Win, win, win. 
Gosh, my third hack is to create voiceovers when your audio is on a budget. For example, the camera microphone itself is not perfect, but sometimes when you record, let's say, some vlog, you can always record another audio file, but then you speak closer to the camera. The audio will be crisper and you can add it during post-production. Same thing relate to your smartphone recording with our external microphone. Just speak very close to your phone on board microphone and you'll be surprised how clear your audio would sound now. Use your voice memos app, speak about what you are showing on your video and voila, that's it. Moving to another tip. You need to change this chair. Talking about the post-production, please don't rely on your raw audio and use some software to improve your audio quality. You might be surprised, but there are actually a few free of charge audio software options on the market. Therefore, with no cash input, you will bring your audio to another level. In my view, best options would be Audacity, Adobe Edition or GarageBand when you are on the Mac. For example, in this is my raw audio and now after post-production, I have used few effects such as noise reduction and audio preset. If you are interested about some basic audio effects that will improve your video by using those softwares, let me know in the comment section and I'll create some future video for you guys. Moving next. Before we move to another tip, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video so far. And support me because I'm trying to survive here. Anyways, my another hack is not 100% free, but I still believe it is a great budget option. Use an external USB microphone, and my choice would be Blue Yeti USB microphone as this one here. It has a great specs, nice review, and all the versions on second hand market won't break the bank. Obviously, I can make some samples for you in the future if you want to, but trust me, this microphone is superb. It's often used for podcasting and some people sync audio of this microphone to their videos. However, with a jack extension and when it's plugged into external power of source, like let's say your PC, with a long USB cable, the Blue Yeti can be plugged actually directly into your camera. Guys, if you are too bothered by all those extension cables that you need to power your USB mic, simply use an external shotgun mic. Again, you need to put some money up front, but all the version of shotgun mics like my Rode, powered by the battery, are not that expensive those days. However, a true budget mic that will increase your audio quality is this uh, Boya Love mic. Um, it costs less than 20 US dollars or 12 British pounds on Amazon. Literally a takeaway food price for a great budget mic. You know what best about this Boya mic? It it has a fairly long cable and actually sounds really great. And this is audio from the Boya Lav mic. Spot the difference. You can even pack this microphone to your latest iPhone. Love that. Mic check, mic check. Okay, moving next. Hardware is very important, but make sure you adjust the right volume of your microphone. Make sure it sits between negative six and 12. When you record your audio in this level range, it might sound too low or too quiet, but you just need to increase the volume in post-production and will be smashing. My final tip here will be to get as close as possible to the microphone. It's not rocket science, but the best way to record your vocal is to get this mic as close as possible to your face. Unless you want to record some ambient noise like I'm doing that today. Anyways, don't rely on your shotgun mic itself as I'm doing today and just get some C stand, same as this one behind me, or some other budget microphone stands which you can get on eBay or Amazon. Personally, when I record at night, I have this modify monitor arm where my shotgun mic is attached. So just be creative and improve your audio. Don't do those things what I'm doing today. That's probably the most ridiculous episode which I've recorded so far. I'm talking about audio improvement, but I've got this guy on the digout just behind my garden. It's really echoey here. Audio sack. I'm sweating. I think that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section what are your budget options for improving audio. 
I finally moved my stuff from one end of the room to another. So now I have this blank wall behind me instead of a window. So I'll definitely use that in some more creative way. By the way, I just ordered some nice pocket RGB light, which I'm gonna review next time. This will be my first unboxing on this channel, but it's great light. It is, it is, it is. Moving back to my setting, I can also hang some blankets on those windows to reduce echo. In addition to that, I have just bought this Maranta sound shields at the local auction. So this should improve my audio too. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. Like it, share it if you want to. And for now, eat hustle videos, repeat. Echo! That's it, job done.